Okay, this is a special episode of Timelines or Meet the Voter or whatever we want to call it today because we have so many shows. But Bob is on, and we do have a regular timeline interview coming up a little bit later with Tim Stanford, who's a PhD in online learning systems, in which I'm working on. But Bob, so what is the update on the drought? We've had so much water and so much snowpack this year. I know the Truckee River is as it at capacity right now. So what's going well, on? We, we put, 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 let's put it this way. We have plenty of water, but we're releasing water to make sure that we don't flood. And uh, most of our reservoirs are in pretty good shape. But the biggest thing to worry about is it's going to be a, a man-made drought because now you have all the water boards that are put in place. They're now really putting a lot of control over groundwater. And uh, it's, 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 it's going to get real bad. We're not doing anything to protect the farmers. Uh, we're doing more to protect the fish. And, uh, you know, they're putting these, these just releasing water, just for the fact of releasing water. I'm not on junk science. You know, so, the, so right now we're lucky enough we have this El Nino. And we're actually getting some rain today, but uh, it, people in California could screw it up. I just bag it, bought a bag of almonds for seventeen dollars, and we definitely have an echo, and it's definitely echo. it is. Let me okay. Okay, the echo is down. He's shut down. I've got some links. I'm going to send you. Know, I'm writing a course on on basically using Blab to get your message out as a starter. It's just a real basic, inexpensive course to a more expanded course. So I've I've got all the details. I'll send you those links on troubleshooting Blab, all, all the things you can do. Blab's so I new. Never it's changed. troubleshoot Blab. <laughs> he just did. I will never troubleshoot. He just, he just Blab. did. You just troubleshoot out it and you found well, I out. I troubleshoot my wife. That's all I care about. <laughs> so going back to the drought in California, it's a couple minutes. What what's the status? Well, the status is like I said, we've got plenty of rain. We have good snowpack right now. Most of the reservoirs are in fairly good shape. There's a couple that are hanging right around 50, but some of them are 100 percent plus. They're releasing water on the long Sacramento River because they're afraid of a um, possible flood. Yeah. You know, because, you know, they don't know what's going to happen. They possibly could get some heat wave through here. And then that snow we do have up there, all of a sudden it comes rushing down. We uh, had a flood and, once, didn't we? Remember that flood? Yeah. I got called away as a city councilman, got called away in the National Guard to go up to Yuba City. And it went to command center. And yet my city was flooding and where it was a city council member. Well, like I said, whiskey's for drinking and water's for fighting. And right now, the government has taken almost total control of water. It used to be private water rights. Is it now they're going to want to hmm? Stanislaus, oh, state. Stanislaus, oh. Stanislaus and um, Turlock have their own irrigation districts. So we own our own water, right? Well, but right now, right now the, the state's trying to uh, control groundwater mm -hmm. and basically the flow of waters. They're dictating what percentage. You know, even though we have this abundance of water, People on the west side are probably going to get about 20%, maybe 30%. So a lot of the land out there has gone fallow. When you say west no side, what, what part of the west side? Uh, Fres Fresno, uh, yeah. west of Fresno. So Patterson's okay. Anybody in Stanislaus County is okay, right? Yeah, pretty much. You know, But you could, again, you could only grow so much here and employ so many people here. When you reduce it down to you know 30% of what you, you'd like to be able to expand it to, it's you know, you're losing a lot of wealth. By the way, since I still own property in Stanislaus County, I still consider like in the old – I still can vote. I can vote on some things there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> since I live in the county, I don't get to vote for any of the city races at all. So. Well, I tried to get you in the city. Yeah, I know. I yeah, tried. Sure. I tried really hard. Yeah, I tried. But your people on your island wanted to stay in island. And, and and I understand that. So at least you had somebody who dropped by. They peeked in. Yeah, hi. We know these guys. Oh, you do? We've got the Chuck, of course, and we've got the Jason, who is out of Arizona and uh, has a really good podcast, which I listen to from time to time. Very good. Well, he's podcast. in Arizona, so he's one of those build a wall guys. He's one of those racist white guys. <laughs> he's a mortgage guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's laughing. He's got a good show, though. Actually, he knows a lot about technology, knows a lot about podcasting. I know nothing about podcast or tech technology i know how to point and click and that's about it so let me tell you another reason why i should why i a good reason why i didn't run for united states senate even though i wanted to run for senate and i probably would have run if i had my business better established um we have this uh recreation marijuana was put on the ballot this year so you know it's going to bring a lot of younger votes people out to votes but but done right we could have really targeted it just right but if you would have won the general election, you still uh, – um, I won the uh, primary, still the general election will be a challenge here. The bottom line is with marijuana on the ballot, these kids are going to be too stoned anyway. They won't be able to find their polling place. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's a moot point, Bill. It's, you know, they're going to pass it, and the bottom line, it is a weed. So California – what's it California done? You throw it to the ground and it grows. 
It hasn't. Has it been on the ballot in California for? It has medical. It's been on the on the ballot. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Not recreational though, right? Well, it's it's. I think it's going to be on this time for rec- it's, or it's not. We're on that pathway. The, the bottom line is, did, I, I have a headache. I got a neck ache. Here's my prescription. Yeah, almost. I mean, it's almost recreational in California now under the current laws. Yeah. yeah let me check something. Stay on the line for a second. 